Hello. I'm recording this video late in the day on 15th of February 2023, but I just wanted to spend a few moments uh, to acknowledge the sad passing today of Raquel Welch at the age of 82. Uh, now, when I think of Raquel Welch, uh, I really associate her most closely with childhood days in my early teens. She was in uh, The Three Musketeers and The Four Musketeers, directed by Richard Lester, The Prince and the Pauper, uh, directed by Richard Fleischer. But there's a couple of other movies which really stick in the mind. Um, one of those is Fantastic Voyage, uh, which was just a hugely entertaining um, science fiction film which involves uh, a submarine crew being miniaturized and injected into uh, someone's bloodstream. It, this was huge fun to watch when I was a kid. Um, Raquel Welch is one of the team uh, that goes inside the human body um, and uh, yeah it's a, it's a great fun adventure this one with really good fun special effects and you can see there there's Raquel. And another one that I watched quite a lot when I was young uh, is the film Fathom from 1967, directed by Leslie Martinson, who did Batman the movie. This is just a fun, nonsense, 60s spy caper, um, espionage type movie. Um, it's got Richard Briers in it. Um, but yeah, there's, there's lots of um, speedboat chases, skydiving, uh, aircraft chases. Um, people acting against back projection, um, but you get Raquel Welch in a, a lovely green bikini, but also it's a feature role for her and she's very charming in it. So forget Roger Ebert's review on that one and uh, check out Fathom. It's uh, just a enjoyable, fun bit of nonsense uh, from the 60s. But yes, the film that I associate most with my teenage years and which I still enjoy to this day, it's One Million Years BC. Um, this was just such a great film to watch when I was young um, and it's still got a lot of charm to it um, but this poster I mean it's the one of the most iconic movie posters as far as I'm concerned I, I love everything about this poster the design of it uh, just how it looks um, Raquel Welsh's stance there and then all the dinosaurs behind it the font um, this is just glorious um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I can't say enough about this poster. The film itself is just hugely enjoyable to watch. Um, so yes, whilst this might not be Raquel Welch's finest hour in terms of acting, this is still just a hugely, hugely fun film to watch. And when it comes to the rest of Raquel Welch's career, I'm not gonna go through all her films, but I do just wanna to touch upon a couple. Uh, one I remember from TV in the 80s, and it is a made for TV film and that's The Legend of Walks Far Woman. Uh, this was quite a personal project to Raquel Welch and I remember thinking that this was a good film uh, at the time. Um, it's perhaps a little bit more sort of problematic these days because some of the cast are uh, white and it's about uh, Native Americans um, but uh, nonetheless it was an earnestly made film um, and it did have some merit to it. And another interesting one is Kansas City Bomber, um, in which Raquel plays a, a kind of roller derby skater, a very competitive sport, quite hard hitting. Um, and she tries to balance this with her personal life where she's a single mum. But yeah, it's a, a more dramatic role for her, um, but the script isn't the strongest. Um, and there are scenes in the skating where you can tell that it's uh, actually somebody else skating instead of Raquel. Uh, but nonetheless, it's an interesting one to see. And another one is Mother Jugs and Speed, directed by Peter Yates. Uh, and this stars Raquel with Bill Cosby and Harvey Keitel. It's a black comedy uh, about a renegade ambulance crew chasing down the accidents. Um, not a great film, but it is worth checking out uh, for Raquel's role here. So yes, obviously Raquel has other films in her career, but I just wanted to touch on a few of those films. And like I say, for me, it all really comes back down to uh, Fantastic Voyage, Fathom, and One Million Years BC. Um, so yes, sad news, Raquel Welsh, who passed away today, age 82.